the people of Kenya have been united to a man by the candidature of the Right Honorable Raila Odinga to be the chairperson of the African Union Commission. This is a quest that has brought pride to our nation. And I would like to tell the leaders here from Africa and the representatives that as a country, as we present the Honorable Raila Odinga to be our candidate, it is because Africa, our motherland, deserves the best. The passion and zeal of the Right Honorable Raila Odinga in Pan-Africanism is well documented. Passion knows no age, knows no limit. In the person of the Right Honorable Raila Odinga, he'll join the ranks of Jomo Kenyatta and Kwame Nkrumah in pushing the agenda for Africa. I therefore want to say, Your Excellency, the lessons of today are that Raila Odinga, the Right Honorable, is a man of great resilience, endurance, and perseverance. Today, you are going to unveil the transformation of the Right Honorable Odinga from a national leader to an African statesman. And for us in leadership, we have learned great lessons of resilience, endurance, and perseverance. Somebody may ask, why is it regarding Gashagwa who has before had issues with the leadership of Raila Odinga? As a truthful man, I had nothing against him. It's only that we were competing for the same position between him and my boss. Now that he is going for a bigger seat in Africa, all of us, from the president, I, and the rest of Kenya are behind him. And the Right Honorable Raila Odinga, as a man who listens to the ground, let me confirm to you, I've listened to the ground, and all Kenyans across the political divide, across communities, are in support of your candidature. Let me acknowledge the place of family, not just in our lives, but in leadership. I think it is a great moment for the Right Honorable Raila Odinga it's appropriate that I acknowledge on behalf of the country the role Mamaida Odinga has played in the life of this great son of this land. Mamaida Odinga, we salute you as a country for having been a very strong pillar to your husband. In very difficult times and his lowest moments, you have always been there for him. We ask families to support their spouses. So Mama Aida Odinga, as we wish you happy birthday, it is my hope and prayer that your next birthday will be celebrated at Addis next year. <laughs> and if you invite President William Ruto to come and he's not able to come, Mr. President, I'll be very happy for you to send me <laughs> to represent you in that great birthday. We therefore want to say as a country, this is a great moment. And right Honorable Odinga, I have noted with a lot of appreciation, my wife, Pastor Dokas, who is a very prayerful woman, has been praying for me and the president daily. And I noted from yesterday she has added you in her prayer. <laughs> and because her prayers work, we have no doubt 